Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Cuddersville Town Career Mode of FIFA 21. Hope you're having a great day, guys. We're going to have a little bit of a recap. Obviously, if you catch the last episode, you will know that we had a bit of a technical issue uh, during the tra January transfer window. What we are out of now, we are indeed in. We're past February, we're past the January transfer window. We did make a couple of transfers in the at, right at the end of the January transfer window. Uh, who I will show you right now. The, there was only two, and these, these were the guys. Uh, Mark Gray from Chelsea. We got him, him in on loan. He played the games against uh, Chelsea and Arsenal. He was really, really good. So solid in that back line. Honestly, really, really considering. Unless we can get anyone better, but to be honest, I'd rather get this guy in. I feel like we can get him for a, a good price at, by the end of the season. He's been solid, solid in the last first few, few games I've had him. So we'll see how he goes. And then the other one, we did need a backup right back. And Ethan Laird, we got him from Manchester United for a very, very good fee of 2.8 million. He's actually worth 4 million now. He was um, 70 rate when we started. We converted him to a right back. He should be a pretty good right back, um, backup for Pippa. And just a little bit of um, notes as well. I have decided to put Dixon into the starting line over Schofield simply because Dixon is still showing great potential. He's younger, he's got I, he's got a lot more potential than Schofield, so I've decided to give Dixon the head of go because he should grow a lot quicker than Schofield. And he is, to be honest, he was, I think Dixon was like 6'6 six, six overall when Schofield was still like 70, so he's actually growing high, like quicker than Schofield. He's very much kept catching up to him anyway. Uh, but anyway. Uh, we will be uh, getting out a month of, of March in this episode. We have got two games against uh, Southampton and West Ham. And we'll probably be getting into a couple of these games here with Everton and Fulham. Probably leaving it at the game against Leeds. We'll probably be playing two of these games in this episode. And the other two will probably simulate. So a little bit of a decision we have to make. Personally, I think I'm going to play Southampton. Simulate the West Ham game because I think we played at West Ham before early in the season And to be honest, I might simulate both away games and play the Fulham and Southampton just to kind of Just so it's not always the same teams I'm playing against because I'm pretty sure I played Everton as well when we last played and so and we haven't played Fulham I don't think so I, I want to play that one and then the next episode we'll be going to Ellen Road We've got a big episode next. We'll probably be playing three games in the next episode and then obviously the last episode will be these two games against Palace and Chelsea. And then we'll be wrapping up the whole season. We are really not far away, guys. And now we're out of the FA Cup. It's going to come quicker than ever. We're not here to mess about. We're going to get straight into the games for this episode. The first one against Southampton. Again, playing another opponent we don't regularly play. So, you know what? I want to, I want to mix it up. Especially in a season where the big matches are against the big teams are going to make as much difference. If anything, we're messing up more against the smaller teams at the moment. So, I have decided to change the team around just very, very slightly. Um, just giving other people a chance in the starting lineup. And as you can see there, obviously, the episodes you didn't see, uh, Adjuma has actually scored three goals in the last three games. So, he's been in fine form for me. Probably been one of the bright sparks. We've had a very frustrating few months in this career mode, as you probably have known from the last episode or two. You get to see people like um, Ethan Laird make their debuts for you guys. He's been pretty good when he's played for me. He's played a couple of times already. He even scored when he came on due to Pip again sent off. Um, he had to come on. He actually scored with his first touch. He was absolutely unbelievable, but so bad that you didn't get to see that. But anyway, Dixon is making his official first starting 11 where he's officially in the starting 11 for good. Uh, obviously, Ethan Laird is in there. Matsima and Mengi come in with Tafoa still in there. Uh, Fernandez comes in for O'Brien. And uh, the rest are the same. Loretzen's on the bench. The youngster we've come, who's come through our youth academy is on the bench. Thank you. We've got the in goal. Bad Achille, we've got in there. Vokins, who's one of their youngsters. Grace Mendes, not too familiar. Thomas Delaney is in there. Kanging Lee, who's a, a very, very good prospect. I know in career mode, so... 
A very, very interesting team. Will be a test. Let's hopefully get up to us with a brilliant win against Southampton. Dixon has to make his first save. That is just sloppy play, but he's offside anyway. Jesus Christ, this is sloppy, guys. Doing a follow. Oh, this is good. Now Dejuma has been set loose. Can he find someone at the back post, maybe? Fernandez is there. The Vulcans is there as well. Not really anyone really going in there hard. He's there. Mingi! Oh, he's off the line! Mingi nearly got a goal. Fernandez, good run off. And now, Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony! Ivan Tony! Oh, 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 bro, we can't put it in. And we can't make the most of it. Che Adams is on the ball right now. But Matt Seema is there. Falling out of the starting lineup since Squay came in, but oh, is he onside? Please be onside. Oh, he's been bundled in by I think Brian Broby. Oh, it's a bit of a messy goal in the end. Not as easy as I thought it'd be. I just wanted a clear tapping for Broby, but the goalkeeper didn't really fall from my pass. We managed to get Dejuma away. Could have maybe gone inside, but it was always the pass, and somehow Dalgorski couldn't get that ball. Broby just got beat him to it. And that is number 12 for Brian Broby. Not been in the best of form lately. Really needs to step his goal scoring form, especially being 83 rate right now. Even where it has to deal with Sims. And he does. Really good. That's really good play. Oh, brilliant. What a good play this is. Oh, but that's not a good cross by Karoma. That's really not well done. Dixon with a big save. Oh, thank God Mendes took that first time. He definitely could have took more of a chance, a bit of a touch there. He didn't, thank God. Gave Dixon enough time to, to react. Oh my God, what a block. Is that Mengi? Who got a touch on that? Again, it's Mendes. Who is that? It is Mengi. What an instinct block. Mengi there again, big, big header away. He's hyped, he's absolutely hyped the boy. I think, oh, I did come off. I think Delaney, that'll do us. Again, that is just a warning. They are really coming in tight on us. Oh, brilliant. Brian Bro is in here. Brian Broby sets up Ivan Tony for number two. We make use of it this time. That's a much better sweep. An absolute sweaty goal. Ivan Tony gets his goal today. He's not had many chances, but finally Brian Broby gets on the shoulder of Badashile. Tony has the pace on Sal Salisu, and he's just got an absolute laser about it. No chance for the goalkeeper. Number two, and that. I'm hoping should start putting a bit of a dead in Southampton's comeback. Oh, he's going to try to get on there. Oh, 
Oh, but brilliant work again by Mengi. And now, oh my God, it's a good save by Dixon again. But that again is another mistake. We're just giving it to him. It's silly passing. Oh, I don't like that. I hated that he changed mid corner. I hated it. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, it's a good tackle. I don't know who that was, but it was a good tackle either way. And that is a good pass. Now Ivan Tony has loads of room. He can just finish us off here. He drills it and it goes wide. The drill one, this used to be the shit in like FIFA 19 or 18. I just remember everyone went low and it used to always go past the keepers. Now, if you try it, it goes so wide. How? Why? Let's bring get the wingers off, freshen it up. Give Rowe and Loretton a go for the last uh, five minutes. Oh, brilliant from Matt Seema. Oh, that'll work. And I see Rowe with loads of room. That's not really the pass. It's not the pass I was looking for. But Loretson's in. Loretson! Oh, what a moment by the 16-year-old! He's come on to score his first Huddersfield Town goal. I hope his first of many. Oh, come on. Get in there. I'll take that. He comes on. That's one of his first attacks. And he does that. He produces. That is a really good finish as well. Powerful into the corner. And he makes it free. Right on ninth minute. That's his first Premier League goal as well. Take her bar, Loretson. You're beautiful. That's just the start of something beautiful. And it should be seconds away from the final whistle. Oh, four minutes added on. Jesus Christ, I didn't know there was so much out of time. Just playing a bit of keep ball now, Southampton, to be honest, but does not matter. We win 3 0. Maybe the score analyze a bit of how the game was. We did have a few minutes where we were just, oh, we could have gone behind, or we could have drawn, or something good have happened. Dixon made a good few saves. Mengi and Matsimo were solid at the back. Love to see it. Come on. Great way to start the episode. Great way to start the episode that absolutely thrilled with it kept a clean sheet as well first one i'm happy for dixon as well hopefully that does help with his growth we have uh reached an agreement with uh saint etienne for aaron's only getting 100 over his value i kind of want about over 2 million but uh to be honest it's time to move him on is it as a great example loretson's coming through he's growing like a madman he's up to 62 already he started at I think like 59 at the start of the season. He's already grown quite a few, so you know what? I'm really happy with him. Uh, we've got a couple of position plays. Don't know if he's going to change much. Nah, he's still a, still a 55 lamp, but got plenty, plenty of young lads. Uh, got <laughs> speaking of youngsters, uh, Lamb and Great Granger want to get promoted. Um. Could definitely promote him. I don't think they're going to be playing that much, but I'm probably going to try to get him out on loan, to be honest. See, this kind of guy, 18 years of age, 65 overall, this guy is can be a massive, massive player for us going forwards. Same with his Parkinson guy. Farmer, I think he could, with the fact he can play both sides as well, he, that, that could be a very, very good thing for us. We have a lot of good wingers coming through at the moment the one thing what is very rare in FIFA is definitely strikers they are very rare to find really good strikers in this game so we are coming up to our second game what is against West Ham what is a game I'm gonna be simulating we have I'm um, pretty sure we've played these guys before so um, this is a game I'm gonna simulate gonna hope for the best 
the last one game went well. Wonder where this is going to go. Okay, I'll take it. It's a it's a one more draw. Getting a point away is not an easy feat, especially a team like ours. So I'll take it. Um, Everton is another one we're going to simulate. They are quite low in the table. They look so different. But I'm not going to take them lightly. I'm hoping we can get the job done. I'm hoping that, again, it's a way game. Worried about it, but... But we get a win! Come on! Oh, thank the Lord! We're getting a few good results for Sim Games now. About time. We get a 1-0 win with Broby getting the goal. Wow. I've got to say... Three games in, and Dixon has been getting so many good results. So many good ratings. I'm really happy for the lad. Maybe that's been the final piece. Maybe I should have been playing him all along in the starting 11 all the time. But either way, there we are. We are at the final game of the episode. Uh, because we will be finishing up on this game against uh, Fulham we could really this will be a really good episode thinking we beat Southampton we got a draw against West Ham who are a pretty good team we won against Everton if we can get a win against Fulham who, who are quite low down what a way to it'll just give us that big big boost going into this last like month and a half of the season we could really solidify ourselves into that top 10 spot that's what I'm hoping for that'll be a good season for me if we can finish top 10 that means that's something really good to build on that for next season. So for this last game, let's have it. Let's go guys, absolutely zero nada pro changes to the side. Our best starting lineup out there. I kind of want to finish the season strong, so there'll be a few games where I change things around, but not absolute lows. I want to try and have the best end to the season possible. Let's have it. Lewis O'Brien here. Yeah? Bakuna, oh, he tries to kill one. But he goes over. First opportunity of the game, though. Not a bad way to start. A little bit of a go at Rodak's goal. Oh, Wellington. Kind of did pip of there. Inacio's coming over. Inacio does enough. <laughs> Bakuna's definitely going to get yellow card for what he did before. Oh, Nashio does enough there. Uh, and now, we've got a runner. Roby, he's going to curl one. Roda has to make an outstanding save. That came from absolutely nowhere, that. Brian Broby just picked it up. Everyone was going off him. Oh, so close. That was an absolute belt of a shot. Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony! Oh, he's come off the post. Uses strength to wise. <laughs> I had to do a couple of fouls there just to stop the attack. Oh, what, what an absolute outstanding tackle by Inacio. That is absolutely world class. And that is a good, good pass by Broby. Now I have Tony getting surrounded. I had to take a shot. There's not much else I could have done there. Took the shot. Going back with the Juma. And Brian Broby. Can he maybe get away? No, he can't. Fuck's sake, look at Sean. Fuck you, dude. He's just been fucking on Broby's ass all day. Oh my god! You little pussy! Oh, thank god. I don't know who that was, but we managed to make a tackle.
Oh, Fernandez! Fernandez, shoot! Shoot! Oh my god! What the fuck? They're just somehow always getting in the way of these fucking players. Goretzen, Goretzen, oh he's just come on the pitch and he scored again, back to back goals for the 16 year old, I can't believe it, and brought him on just simply because the Dejuma has got a yellow, that's the only reason I brought him on, but what a world class change, I'll say it myself, oh Goretzen might have just clinched his three points here. And again it's such a cool finish by the lad, he's 16 for Christ's sake. And he is taking this team by storm. He's gone on the suspension. He's working his way up. That's his second Premier League goal. His first word as poor and his second. He'll always remember this one. At the home fans. Come on. Holy shit. In the 90th minute. 90th minute. We can't break him down. But Lorenzo made a great, great tackle. Well, he made a great run, should I say. Oh, we put out better. Ida! Oh, he pulls out a great save out of Rodak. It's going to go. It's going to go, and he's done. We have got three points here. Lorenzo. Oh, he did a brilliant first goal, and he has scored two goals in this episode. I've just snapped. Holy crap. Oh, Lorenzo, what a lad. Possibly the best one we've got so far at the Youth Academy, including obviously next to Dixon. He's probably the next best thing next to Dixon. But that is brilliant to see. Two Youth Academy guys, one of our own, or two of our own right there. Come on. What a day for that young lad. Oh, I can't actually believe that. That game was unbelievable. Holy crap, dude. And we honestly, we still got a game in hand of our Sunday. I don't know if he lost their last game or not. I think obviously Leicester, they're 12 points ahead of us. Even if we win our next game with 9 points away from them, I don't think we're going to get safe. I think safe would automatically get us Europa League. I think that's automatic. Um, but Arsenal are probably the ones in. We'll go, we'll go 4 points closer to near them then if we win our next game. No, five points, sorry. I don't know where the hell I'm going for. Five points, so we could do with him losing a couple more, but honestly, what an episode. What a turnaround. This is what can happen. Just one one game, one performance, one episode can change the complexion of all your seasons. Top ten is what I want, but we could still, still, maybe, if everything aligned, maybe sneak into seventh place and maybe... Uh, get some kind of European but I, I honestly I don't think we will I think um, I think Arsenal will probably just sneak it and we even if we get get seventh we may not even get Europa League so we won't know anything we'll just keep go going as we go we have got leads in the next episode um, I will be playing it because it is at Ellen Road it is our rivals um, I will always play them sometimes I will simulate but especially in this first season we get to play them I will play them uh, they always seem to be interesting games as well, so I'm very, very excited with it, with the way this career mode is going, and I'm really excited the way this season is going to end. Even though we're not going for any trophies, it's such an exciting season. Every game is different. We're fighting, we're scratching and clawing for results. I kind of love it. It makes the career mode just so worth it. Especially, you just remember these times when you get to the end of a career mode and you think, this game's got so easy for me now because you just built a team up. I love it. This is why I love somewhat Road to Glory. It's so lovely to see. I love it. And I'm so happy I get to share, share this with you. Um, to be honest, in the next episode, I'll probably play the Leeds game. Simulate back-to-back uh, -back Wolves and Man United. Uh, as I said, no team safe while I simulate. I will simulate big teams sometimes so I can play a bit of the smaller teams. Like, you, you could say it's easier games I'm playing, but then again... I've beaten Man City. I found Fulham really fucking tough to break down. And they, they, they had some good chances. They could have gone ahead before we got ahead. 
We we all got ahead because of a last minute winner. But again, we'll we'll probably play the we'll, <laughs> we play both home games in this episode. We'll probably play both away games in next episode with uh, Leeds and Liverpool, and then we'll finish up on the first of May, and then the, the next episode after that. So uh, the next episode is the one is a uh, once and last episode of season number two. Uh, we'll finish it all up on this uh, month of May. We'll probably play both these games back to back, finish it up. Depending on what we, if we're fighting for anything, or if we're still fighting for top ten, I'll play my best team. If not, I'll maybe play one game with a lot of my youngsters, a lot of the players I've not had really a chance to play with yet. And maybe for this last game against Chelsea, we'll have a bit of a hopefully end on a good note. We'll do all the um, good stuff like stats and all that and awards as we usually do. But I am loving this cream mode, guys, and I'm loving bringing it to you. There's so much more to come. This is just a start. Honestly, I'm hoping to do this for a good number of seasons. This is going to be the last career mode until FIFA 22, so we're going to be doing this for a while. And I think it's just it's going to be a while before we get major, major competitions, and I want to go big on the trophies. I want to try to even try and eclipse what I did with the Salford City trophies, so we'll see what happens. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm out.